this is the first time here. Hi, my name's Siobhan. Also, where have I been? I started a new job. So not a new job, a new position at the same company that I was at before. But I went from six years of working nights to working mornings, which has been a painful transition. I'm pretty excited about it, but it does mean that I've been having more issues with fatigue than previously just because my body is trying to adjust. So in addition to the normal adjustment that people go through, I've also had the adjustment that I'm going through with my other physical stuff. And yeah, that's really the whole story. I've had some migraines, I've had some different issues, but really at the end of the day, the biggest thing has been fatigue. So I am back. Hopefully I'm back for real. I have filmed some videos now, some of them going back months that still haven't been edited and posted. So I'm thinking about trying to find some time to edit those and post those. So if there are some videos that are like weird and out of order, that's why. Let's get to today's video because I'm very excited to be filming again. And I'm also really excited about this video. This video, as I'm sure the title probably says, is a collab with Courtney Marie. So if you happen to be here from her video, awesome. Welcome, I'm happy to have you. If not, you Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, what's up? My name's Courtney Marie, welcome. It's lovely to have you here. I post new videos basically every single day, so why not hit that subscribe button, stick around because there's always new content to watch. You should definitely go check out her video. So what we decided we wanted to do is a collab. She's in Australia, I'm in the States, so obviously we can't film together in the same room. So we are doing a collab with the Jivia's Place Magic Palette. So I have the Magic Mini. She has the large. And if you haven't seen this, it's been around for a while, so I imagine you probably have. This palette is very, very pretty. This is the first Jivia's Place palette that I've actually used. I have no idea what she did with her look and I'm not gonna tell her anything about mine. And we're just kind of seeing how people with two different makeup styles use the same palette. So I am gonna go ahead and jump into my makeup. I've already done my foundation. Hopefully I haven't been out of focus the whole time. My camera's being a little weird with the new lighting. All right, so I'm just gonna start. Um, so I'm gonna start with this shade up here, it's Kessie, and just set down my base from the, I'm not gonna, so I'm not gonna set down here, I'm just gonna set from the top half of my lid up to kind of my brow bone. So I've been noticing lately when I do my makeup that I like to keep the bottom half of my eyelid without setting it and I like to set the top so that things blend better at the top like blend out and it's yeah I don't know, just a thing I've been doing this is a Sigma tapered blending E35 and so I was really torn between these two colors at the bottom which on camera I don't know if you can really tell too much the difference this one is like a deep navy blue and this one is a deep like royal purple. So what I decided was that I was gonna go with opposite corners. So I'm gonna do this royal blue with this kind of cold, kind of gold shade. So this is a Nubia. This is a word I'm not going to try to pronounce. So let's see if I can. So this one here, this is just an e.l.f. pencil brush any pencil brush will work. I'm going to go into that dark blue and I'm just going to carve out that outer V. So I did notice when I used these the first time that they do tend to skip. So when I use them, I'm going to try and use more of like a padding motion instead of a sweeping motion wherever I want darker color. 
and definitely up on the higher portion of my lid up here where I know that the skin tends to be a little bit looser. And I'm going to bring that in about two thirds of the way. So since it's been a while, what has everyone else been up to? I missed posting for St. Patrick's Day and the beginning of spring, all kinds of stuff. But here in the States, we are right at the end of winter. We technically were supposed to be a couple of weeks into spring, but it's still been pretty cold until just the last few days when it has gotten quite a bit warmer. I think it was up to like 70 Fahrenheit today. I don't know why I feel the need to talk about weather when I'm filming. I think just because I think it's interesting to hear what it's like in different parts of the world. And I'm always curious. Also, I'm really enjoying the weather right now. So like really, 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 really enjoying the weather. Um, this is one of my favorite times of year. And definitely I enjoy spring and autumn more than any other time, just because it's the time of year when it's not too hot, not too cold, at least where I'm at. This is a elf brush also, an elf blending brush. I'm just gonna soften up that edge some. Um, but I tend to be very warm all the time and I have no idea when the camera stopped recording hopefully not too long ago but I have a feeling it was quite a while ago the green is Boozo which is this green here and I've decided that I'm going to use the gold shade here for under my lash line I guess since it's my first time filming in a while, I'm just gonna go ahead, use that as an excuse. It's not an excuse. I just legitimately wasn't paying attention. And because I use a DSLR to record, instead of using a camcorder. There is a limited amount of time. I've talked about it before in some of my other videos, but I wasn't paying attention. Wasn't thinking about how fast time passes, but also I'm not that worried about it. I was talking about the weather, nothing all that exciting. Um, and there's just, there's not really anything too terribly exciting going on. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like this is one of those looks that needs to be completely done before I'm going to feel like it's really come together and looks good. I'm going to go back into Kessie, which is that first color that I used just to set this and just kind of diffuse this out a little bit more. I just, I like my top color to be nicely blended. I don't want it to have just that line where you can tell that it just ends. And Kessie is just like slightly darker then the shade of my natural skin tone, like just barely. It's almost like the color that my foundation turns when it oxidizes. Oh, it's interesting. I don't even know if that's picking up on camera at all, but it's like just a slightly orange color. Also, I don't know what's happening over here. I also don't know if this is showing up on camera, 
but in person it's like my foundation just like rubbed off it's almost like there are blemishes that are trying to poke through except I don't actually have blemishes there I, I don't know what is happening instead I'm going to use this sapphire pencil this is by Lancome just a water proof pencil I feel like my depth perception is off just a little bit with contact lenses instead of glasses which makes doing this from a little bit of a distance kind of scary and of course if you've watched my videos I use this a lot in videos so I have talked a lot of crap about this mascara this is the bad gal bang by benefit because of how much it has run in the past after it dries up some I've been using it just in real life lately because once it dries up a little bit and it's not as wet of a formula I find that it also stays on better somehow I don't really know how that works but I'm not mad at it again don't know when it cut off so <clears throat> the bad gal bang has definitely grown on me um which is weird like it's very strange to me that it is now a drier formula in the bottle like in the little tube and something about it getting drier has also made it so that it doesn't seem to smear off of my eyes as easily I don't know if it just sets down different now because it's older or what's going on but I'm not hating it anymore and I was legitimately hating this mascara for a while so it's saying a lot so this is the real her be fearless be limitless I am going to use this shade here I can decide on a blush brush yeah okay I like that and highlight the ABH Amrezy highlighter this highlighter is still just as amazing as the day I bought it this brush says it's a soft blend concealer brush I can't imagine ever using it as a concealer brush but I'm gonna use it as my highlight brush okay. I feel like that shade with that gold under the eyes is just like perfect and then I'm gonna put some just under my brow bone because why not and yes I realize that I might look a little weird with my super crazy nose highlight but I like it and that's all that matters all right I also feel like this video is going to be oddly long for as simple of a look as I I mean, not that this is a simple look, but there's not a whole lot to it. There's only three shades on my eyes. I did my base makeup beforehand. So considering the amount of work that's actually going into on camera, it's not that much. I love this highlighter it really one of the best purchases ever it is absolutely gorgeous in person on film everywhere it's just it is like the most beautiful highlighter there's a reason 
the, it went away and came back. Okay, I'm going to zoom you out. I'm going to go with a nude. This is Ofra in Verona. This is the final look. I'm going to let you see the craziness of all of my hair down. Um, there's a reason I wore a headband other than just because it helps hold my head back. Well, hold my head back. Hold my hair back. While I put on my makeup, which is that my hair has quite a bit of growth. Like I have this nice, I have this nice banding here, so that'll all be getting bleached soon and colored. If there's a certain color you want to see me do my hair, put it in the comments down below. I use the Arctic Fox hair color, so if you want to look at the Arctic Fox website and see what colors they have, I think that I actually have all of the colors currently. So if there's a mix of stuff, if you want to send me inspiration or link me to something on Instagram, that would be awesome. Um, cause I haven't really decided what I want to do next. So I might end up just taking this color out and bleaching my roots this weekend and then letting it sort of Olaplex and rest for a week before I put color in it. Although Arctic Fox hair color is like conditioner based. So it's actually like doing a conditioning treatment on your hair. But yeah, this is, it's weird how the blue is just like fading out of the green and leaving like a yellow behind. Cause the bottom part was yellow intentionally. If you go on my Instagram, if you haven't seen the pictures, if you go on my Instagram and look, um, maybe I'll remember to put one in up here so that you can see it. Um, but yeah, also if you're wondering about how I keep my hair healthy, I did do a video on it, but since I did that video, I have been using the Olaplex number four, number five, which is their shampoo and conditioner. And my hair has so much more just like, body and shine and feels healthier and yeah I I've been loving their shampoo and conditioner so they will probably be what I stick with maybe for the first time ever it takes they're expensive not not gonna sugarcoat it they're $28 um but it also takes the tiniest amount so anyway being my first Juvia's Place palette and being the second time I've used it so far. I really like it. Um, they're very affordable. Could they blend a little better? Maybe. Um, but the mattes that I've used have predominantly been very dark mattes, which are hard to formulate. And since I've only used it twice, I would not feel confident saying that they don't make good mattes and their shimmers are amazing. So I, so far, I, I like it. I would not hesitate to give one of these palettes to a friend. So hopefully you will leave comments down below letting me know what you think of Juvia's Place. That is it for this video. I'm happy to be back. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Make sure that you go over and see what Courtney Marie did with this palette. I am really curious and I hope that you are having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are. Bye.